The Lies of Lock Lamora review. Now, I apologize for getting this review to you so late. I will do, do my best to keep it spoiler free. Cause I, I, I'm sorry, but my life has been another type of busy recently. So finally getting the time to sit down, talk to you about the lies of Lock Lamora, and I pretty enjoyed it a lot. All right, the lies of Lock Lamora. It was something special. I love trying things new. I love getting out of my comfort zone a little bit in reading, especially it is very good for me. And I always, whenever I do, I always end up loving it. For example, First Law was something new for me. For example, yeah, this thing was something very new for me, such so was Mistborn. Having things new for me really, really helps me. And this did have a lot of new things. I threw a new spin on things. It kind of was grimdark. I wouldn't say it was grimdark. But the main characters were thieves, and it was pretty dark. But I wouldn't still call it grimdark because there was a lot of hope to this. There's, this is like a thief whole a genre. Like it's like a heist book, which is really awesome in this epic fantasy world. It is not. It is a high fantasy, definitely a great, great fantasy world. And if that intrigues you, definitely go check it out because they do some stuff really well. Like the lock and jaw scenes in this book were done to perfection. Lock and Jaw has our Lock and John, 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 or something like that. And then it's already entered my top 10 friendships. And yeah, it's, it's elite. It's a, it's a very elite book. I, I think it's top tier writing. I really enjoy his writing. Scott Lynch has put out on the table here. I think he did a great job writing a book. And I'm really, really happy he did write a book. Love the characters. I love the ideas. I love the flashbacks. This was kind of set up like a Stormlight book if you read those. It has interludes, has parts and stuff like that. Again, I don't think they executed it as well as Stormlight, but still we're here. And yeah, that's that's where it happened. A lot of execution was done very well. They nailed the hammer on the head, especially with characters like Bug and how their storyline played out. P p characters who we don't know who are good, characters who you don't know, mysterious characters like the Great King are really, really awesome. And the flashbacks are top tier, as I said before. Where my criticism comes for this book is just, I don't know, it's not really, it doesn't have the hook for me to keep going with Locke. They're like, they have this heist book, which is interesting, but I wasn't connected to the characters until the very end. It took me a long time. It took me a long time to get into this book is where my criticism comes, which is not terrible because I still like, I it got me into it. But for the first 50 pages, had no care whatsoever, did not know what was going on whatsoever. And of course that comes with just entering a brand new high fantasy world. I haven't done that in a while, but entering a new one kind of confuses you. And I was kind of confused for the first 50 to 100 pages. I was like, I don't know what's going on and I'm just going to let it run with it. And then once I got onto it, I really, really enjoyed it and did not regret reading it. But he could have done some more at the start to get me a little more intrigued. Of course, he was an orphan boy, but like the start wasn't as beautiful for me in my opinion. I don't know. I've not watched many reviews of this book, but in my raw opinion, yes, I don't think the start was done as best as it could have done. And that's my only criticism for this book. Other than that, I really did enjoy it. I definitely recommend you reading The Lies of Locke Lamora. It is a book by Scott Lynch, and I think there's two other books out. I don't know when I plan to read them, but I do plan to read them this year. So stay tuned for those reviews, which should be coming out soon. I'm very excited to read them because Clearly there was more stuff, there was more stuff to say, and I'm very excited to hear what Mr. Lynch has to say because he is a great author now, and now I understand what good of an author he really is. And yeah, it took me a little while to get through this book, I'm sorry, I'm on like kind of a slump right now, but no matter, I will, I can't post as, of, as often as I had been, but I will be posting and getting through this slump, and I will try to come up with you as many I books ideas as possible book recommendations and stuff like that expect some newer content from the future some different content so i'm trying i'm going to be trying some stuff new so yeah that was my review for liza lock lamora by scott lynch i really enjoyed this book i give it about a four out of five again not perfect as i said before as i said in the last just like in my last couple of things i had one thing wrong with it and that was my only thing and yeah, I will definitely be continuing with the series and I definitely recommend you reading it. And if you have read it, talk about it with me in the comments below. And if you haven't, um, I don't know, just, um, just,
just stay tuned or try to read it because I definitely need you to try to read it because it is a very good book and you will not regret it. That was my short little review. Um, sorry, I've not been posting that enough, but I will be getting back to the posting eventually. It's kind of crazy life right now, but that was the video for today. And see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having an amazing day and peace out.